Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to learn how to work with PDF files as part of Power Automate Desktop. First of all, we'll see the intro for PDF automation. PDF stands for Portable Document Format, which is having the extension of file with .pdf. Every day in our task, PDF plays a major role in industries for capturing and sending electronic documents. PDF documents can contain links and buttons, form fields, audio, video, and business logic. They can be signed electronically and you can easily view PDF files on Windows or, or Mac OS using free Acrobat Reader software. There are two types of PDFs that we have. One is generated PDF, another one scanned PDF. Generated PDF, the generated PDF are those you can copy and paste the content into other files directly. Whereas scanned PDF, it's a kind of PDF format mostly in the form of images where you cannot copy and paste these types of content into another files. All right. Now I will show you a small example of the PDF which we are going to use as part of these tutorials. If you see on my screen, on my desktop, I'm having one folder with the Power Automate desktop automation. There I'm having two files. One is MS PDF and another one is MS PDF 2. Let me open the both PDF files. If you see in the PDF 1 that we are having some images that you can see on some of the text also that you can see over here. By using these PDF files, what we are going to do we are going to extract the images as well as the, we are going to extract the test from the PDF files. Along with that, what we'll do, we can, we can extract the pages from the existing PDF and then we can go ahead and we can create a new PDF. Along with that, there is one more thing that we can learn. That is, we can merge two PDF files and we can create a new PDF file by merging or by adding one file to another PDF file. If you see on my screen, by using these PDF actions from the Microsoft Power Automate Desktop, we are going to learn these actions as part of this upcoming tutorials. All right, let's get started. 